So good morning or good night, depending on where you are. And welcome to another album review of The Shield Doing a Couch. I'm your host, Hector. And today we're going to talk about, uh, we have Dominic, uh, I am trying to say his name here, Gong Calves from the band uh, Downfall of Gaia. And they're about to release an album on March 17th. So Dominic is the lead singer and guitarist of the band. So Dominic, how are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's uh, already evening over here, so I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> Looking forward to go to bed, <laughs> but I'm good. I'm good. Besides that, everything is good over here. Yeah. So yeah, I know the the band has got uh, quite a career, and this is the sixth your sixth album that you're about to release. And I was listening to it, and you know, it has elements of. Uh, black metal and cross punk on it like is that when when you guys are are doing a record is why why do you like to blend the the black metal with the cross punk what is it about that sound that appeals to to you i don't know it's just it's just uh it's a part of us i mean it's part of our our road the way we took with the band so we started in the yeah punk diy crust scene um when all of this started and of course things grew over the year also our yeah musical influences so more and more um stuff arrived in our sound we grew as people um so yeah and this album in particular is basically a blend of these two worlds the the path we took in the last years um yeah combined with our roots so it's a blend of yeah the the downfall of gaia that happened in the last years and where we come from yeah yeah no and i think the the sound it blends very well and of course this is an album where you got, you got peter wolf back in the band uh because he was out for a while uh because of personal stuff how was it having peter back in the band and how did his guitar playing influence the sound of the new album oh there was it was it's great to have him back it's basically it feels like um the early, early <laughs> days of the band. So um, it's great because, yeah, as you already said, Peter was with us from the beginning. He's a founding member of the band with us. So we started all of this together. We also started with the songwriting. So we also have somehow yeah, the same way of writing songs. So this makes things way more easy when you're working together because we are sharing the same vision and also the same background and uh, yeah it's just great to have him back to to yeah it feels like like the, the the it feels like he never left so but i mean we were in contact all the years he wasn't in the band we were still friends and he just took care of his family business and whatever so but it's great it's it's a lot more easy to work on a record in this setting that we have right now yeah yeah and i'm guessing having him back also the other the additional guitar and uh, being a founding member helped for the sound so maybe it was you you missed working uh together in that time that he was away from the band so yeah the album cover i'm gonna show it here quickly uh the album is called silhouettes of disgust and uh this is a very bleak album cover. <laughs> yeah. uh, wh who took this? Is this a this is a picture, right? Yeah, this is a picture, but uh, Peter edited it to the max. So um, yeah, he was responsible for editing the the the, the artwork. Um, but it's originally it's a picture. Yeah, is this somewhere in Berlin? No, no, this is not Berlin. This is I don't know, Peter received it the picture from a from a friend i can't tell you the story behind it to be honest right now peter oh, would know for sure but yeah it's it's a real picture and it's edited yeah yeah well, well it, it looks cool and it goes with the <laughs> with the music and i like the the album title silhouettes of disgust because yeah it goes with the with the music when, when you're picking album titles uh how do you go about it when you're doing like a title of an album? Do you go usually with a with a title of a song or do you like look at the whole batch of songs and like figure out which album title would fit best with the album? Yeah, uh, an album title always comes comes uh, last position when when we are taking care of the songwriting. So 
always there's always the music first then the lyrics and uh, the last uh, thing is that our bass player tony he is uh, thinking about an album title when we've got all of this um the setting complete then he starts to think about he he's the guy responsible for our album titles yeah and also song names yeah okay because i see no none of the song names uh i see words of this cause so is is that uh is it uh is it uh, in some of the lyrics of one of the songs or how, was it just like he, how he felt the songs here portrayed felt no it also fits to the concept and the theme of the album so there there is a theme and uh, the songs are kind of connected um it's 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 a concept record and uh, yeah it it fits to the to the theme of the album so the album basically tells the story about eight different people in a fictional metropolis with eight different stories so each song is telling a different story and um yeah silhouettes of disgust Silhouettes of Disgust is somehow the title for everything, yeah, that fits it all together. Cool, yeah, and, you know, it's cool, yeah, there's the eight different stories. Do the stories interconnect, or is or is every story like an individual story? Yeah, it's completely individually. It's There's no red, no red line, yeah. Okay, and I know that you picked Bodies as Driftwood as the single. Why, why did you choose this one uh, as the single for the album? Um, because I would say it's the most diverse record on the album and the most special one. Um, maybe with it combines all of the elements that are new on this record, um, like synthesizers or also more melodic, wavy sounds. It's 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 a little bit different. So we wanted to start with this. This one because it's um, yeah it maybe maybe it represents the album the best way. Yeah, I see what you mean. You know, it's a song that has different elements, but has some of the classic elements from Downfall of Gaia. So it would yeah. be a good representation to let fans know, like, hey, we're still Downfall of Gaia, but we're experimenting a little bit for the sound of this record. Yeah, exactly, exactly. There's it's still the classy sound, but there's also a lot of uh, new stuff happening so it was a good good start song <laughs> yeah so yeah uh, yeah it's a like i said it's a very bleak record so for 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 the band's next record are you gonna uh like record the uplifting happy record <laughs> no i i don't think this will ever happen maybe with a with another project but i don't think we can do this <laughs> i think we are trapped <laughs> in the corner we can't do this with this band anymore yeah like like you have to do it forever and ever uh besides yeah. that track like uh which other track uh, do, uh like let's do this like which is the track that you like playing the most which one was the hardest to write and which one was the easiest mm. to be honest we never played them live yet so uh for me, the, the the hardest one to write was basically, um, I think, Wild Blood Springs Become Rivers, because it was one of the last songs uh, we wrote for the album. And um, yeah, you're running out of ideas and <laughs> you're getting exhausted <laughs> and you try to get a song together. And so I think this was the most exhausting one. And what was the other questions? Uh, the, which one was like the easiest to write? Mm, the easiest, I think, it, the opening track, "Existence of Arf, Af, um that was was just flowing, flowing in a good way. It's pretty short. It's pretty in your face. It's nothing too crazy going on. So that was a pretty, pretty, pretty easy one. Uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, uh, there's a very sense of loneliness fear in this album like uh when you're writing like the tone like do like how how do you get that tone because sometimes even if you're not listening to the lyrics you can feel in the tone of the music the anguish and the loneliness uh like when you're writing this like uh do you do you want to have like a basic guitar tone that to you represents loneliness i don't think we 
we are thinking that much about anything like this when we are starting writing music. Basically, we never learned it in any other way. So, I mean, there's no Eric Clapton stuff going on or so, nothing too crazy. <laughs> so it's just pretty, pretty simple and we can't play it any other way. That's the way we, we learned it to, to do music together with each other. And that's, I think you can hear it in every record that there's, yeah, yeah, there's a there's a red line. It's 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 there's a common common sound going on, but it's nothing. There's no overthinking or so. It's just what we can play. <laughs> that's that's the whole explanation. Yeah. Yeah, it just comes natural to you. Uh, by yeah. the way, I love the the ocean. Uh, you have the in the back. Uh -huh. I think the ocean. I love that band. Yeah. Uh, they they recently played in Puerto Rico in December. But I, I hadn't moved back here yet, so I, I missed that concert. I wish I could have seen them. Yeah, right yeah. It's, it's from, from a tour together. We toured together in 2019. So it's a tour poster from the both of us. Yeah, great live band. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, so, what, so you're releasing the album now in March. Uh, what plans do you have right now? Is there tours uh, on the way, maybe festivals? Yeah, there are no summer festivals. For, for this year, but we've got a few festivals for fall confirmed. I can Damnation UK, for example, and uh, a few others, but they are not public yet, so I can't tell. No, but, no, no. Um, there's also, yeah, we're playing a little release tour in April. Over here, it's just 10 shows. It's nothing too crazy. We need to get all of this done with the new jobs and family business and whatever right now. So, um, but we are planning more shows for the second half of the year for uh, yeah fall and winter. So there's a few things in the making right now, but public is just the, the tour in April and Damnation Festival. Yeah, it sounds like, like fun. And, and, you know, being uh, like a band that has day jobs and stuff, like I've, I bet planning a tour is not easy, especially like... Uh, touring if you're going abroad uh from europe to the states yeah it's not as easy as you would think so uh besides your band right now and a uh, mute like because i'm guessing you very focused on it like do you have any any other bands or like what what music are you listening to right now this is this is a question a lot of people are asking and i'm super bad in in answering <laughs> this question because i'm totally not up to date absolutely not I'm just, I don't know, I just listen mostly to, to stuff I like from the past. <laughs> and uh, I'm not that much up to date with new records that are that are released. Yeah, no, but it can be old, you know, it can be, it doesn't have to be newer bands. Just what are you listening to right now? Yeah, right now it's a lot of, maybe it fits to the, to the, to our album. Um, it's, I'm listening to stuff i grew up with like bands like tragedy from ashes rise his hero is gone the more crusty stuff um also i'm listening a lot to the latest power trip album for example this is a great one yeah stuff like that there's 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 no red line really but uh it's it's more stuff from the past instead of the new new albums that are out now you know? Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, the people, the new Downfall of Gaia album is out on March. Uh, I'll put the link so people can, you know, pre-order it, if the, how they can support the band. And the video for Rivers of uh, Rivers of Driftwood, yeah, I know it's online already. They can uh, see it. Uh, it's out everywhere. Uh, how, how was the making of that video for you guys? Like, uh, do you enjoy the process of doing a music video? For me, for us, it was pretty easy because we are not in the video. So it's, yeah, we that, were just, that always helps. Like <laughs> Yeah, we were just sitting at home. <laughs> so um, it was it was pretty easy for us. But um, yeah, Brandon McGowan, he took care of it. And of course, we had a script before. So we knew what was going on. So he, he took care of everything. We exchanged ideas before and then he went on his own and took care of it and here we are yeah <laughs> yeah i think it's easier if like i remember back in the 90s every band had to be in the music video there had to be like a performance but i'm thinking it's easier just to do like animated videos 
or something where the band doesn't have to be there because it's time consuming. So yeah, I think it's a, a smart decision for that. So uh, Dominic, like uh, before I let you go, like uh, uh, growing up for you, like did you have like which singers or guitar players inspired you to become a musician? Oh God, oh God. <laughs> I'm <laughs> making you a... think a lot at this time of hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's 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 any kind of single person, but for me personally, of course, getting into punk music, for example, back in the days when I was a teenager, when I was 15, 16, I started to listen to at first, yeah, the more 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 yeah. skate punk stuff, no X, bad religion, stuff like that. And then turned I kind of dig more and more into it and then ended up in the in the crust crusty thing so i think this had the most influence to me personally but there's not a single person or guitar player it's more the the scene and the movement and what's behind and stuff like that this is yeah but i can't remember any single guitar player who is <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yeah. yeah it's sometimes it's hard to remember all that stuff. So people uh, get the album when it comes out on the 17th of March. Uh, if you're a, a fan of like black metal with cross punk and like really dark uh, music and ambient moody, I think this album will be right up your alley. So uh, Dominic, before I let you go, any any last words you would like to say to the people who are watching this video? Not really. Um, we are on tour in April. So if you're around, come around. If not, <laughs> it is what it is you and they'll catch you on the next one <laughs> yeah exactly this this sounds like a perfect plan yeah <laughs> like a perfect plan so dominic again i hope you have a great night over there in berlin and much success with the new album so people get the new album by downfall of gaia that comes out on march 17 so until next time people this is hector the shield dude in a couch and i'll see you right here on the couch thank you and good night